The prime rib roast is a popular holiday dish. I'm going to break it all down for you so you know the best way to enjoy it. A prime rib roast is the center ribs of the calf. An entire rib roast is about 25 pounds. And they're usually broken up into two sections, the first cut and the second cut. The first cut is more expensive. It's smaller, but there's less connective tissue, so way more tender, and that's where ribeye steaks come from. The second cut has more connective tissue, more fat, so it will benefit from a longer, slower roast. Prime rib roast is traditionally cooked with the bone on. It helps the roast cook more evenly. However, if you're uncomfortable with removing it, simply ask your butcher to remove it and they will tie it back on for you. Patting the meat dry and season ahead of time gives nice browning to a roast. I love making little slits and putting garlic slices inside for extra flavor. Then I'm going to cover it in plastic wrap, put it in the fridge four hours to overnight. A couple of hours before I want to cook my roast, I always take it out of the fridge, let it hang out on the counter. This will take the chill off. I love using a heavy bottom baking dish. They're versatile, they're great, and love using silicone baking racks. You can toss them in the dishwasher when you're done. We're cooking this the reverse sear style method. It makes your meat cook evenly throughout, so nice and juicy. It starts at 250 degrees for about 14 to 20 minutes per pound. So this is cooked all the way through, perfect temperature, but I really want that crust. We're going to crank up that oven to 500 degrees, pop it in there for about 15 minutes, nice crusty bits. Take it out, let it rest for 30, and dinner is served. This is evenly cooked to perfection. I hope this inspires you to make prime rib roast at your next gathering.